Good morning, and what a morning it has been. We're at our plan C because plan A and B were frozen and the water rose, so we couldn't hunt them. And then we got up probably two, three hours before shooting light to get out to these spots and no good. And this is our plan C, we're out here. Finally got everything set up, everything was frozen, so we had to bust out a nice hole and we've only got a dozen mallards and a dozen goose shells and a mojo out. A lot of birds around, so we'll see. I don't know, we're not gonna give it a long time because we're gonna do some pheasant hunting afterwards, but we're gonna hunt a few hours, try to get a few ducks, see what happens. Oh, you got some right out front, Dad. Got a pair, I lost them. They're circling. Holy crap, that sun is bright. Watch them. Is he coming? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's kill him. Nice shooting, dude. Timber, come. They flared off at the last second, but we got them. I know mine's mine's straight out here off this point, Devin. Yours went out somewhere this way. There she did. Okay. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Hey. Drop. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's go find Devin's. All right, there's my mallard. One down. Good day. Didn't get skunked. I'm just trying to find Devin's. It's somewhere in here. And I'm trying not to fall through the ice. Timber found it. Susie and a Drake. Fetch it up, Timber. Fetch it up. Come here, fetch it up. Fetch it up. She's trying to get back on the ice here. It's a little tough. There she goes. Hey, fetch it up. Okay, take it to dad. That's fine too. All right. This ice is cracking, so I don't really like walking on it, but don't want to lose a bird. Well, no skunk. Skunk is off. Had a pair of mallards. They didn't really decoy straight into us. They're going to circle around, but We've had a lot to do that today, and these ones came in probably 25, 30 yards, and Devin and I both got one. So, on the board, two mallards. There's a lot of ducks around, but no wind. That's killing us. That's what I think of this hunt. All right, calling that, well, we're not calling that a day, I guess. Calling that a duck hunt. Uh, hopefully, we get some roosters headed out now. We're gonna go grab some lunch, and, uh, chase some pheasants got some lunch in us and we're gonna go chase some roosters or try to and once you know it the wind finally started kicking up so that's just how it goes I bet if we stayed put probably would have got some got some ducks in hand 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 now we found pheasants let's go Out for a nice stroll. Oh, rooster! No, there he goes. Dead. He's dead. Seen a few pheasants around. First two we saw were hens, which is unfortunate because those were probably the best shooting pheasants we had. And we walked some windbreaks and we seen like 15 or so, but they got up way too far. We couldn't even shoot at them. So now we're walking a wheat field like so. And Devin just shot one in this wheat stubble we're in and it sailed. And then we just watched it just crumple out in the middle of a new wheat field for next year. So he just got it. I can see him carrying a bag. He's coming back. Timber found it. So we've seen two roosters in here. I mean, look at this stuff though. Like that's like eight inches of stubble. You want to think they'd be in this, but they love this stuff. They're probably out here feeding right now. It's a warm, sunny day. Mid well, it's about noon or so. But this is a reason why there's not a lot of pheasants around anymore in some areas. Is Once the wheat and the alfalfa left, there's not a lot of places for them to hide, not a lot of places for them to nest. Um, and, you know, wheat stubble, you leave it up, especially if you don't bail it. It's just good cover for them. And the more cover, the more 
habitat, the more areas for them to raise their broods and everything else, the more pheasants you have. And the loss of wheat, the loss of alfalfa really hurt. As well as a bunch of other things. I'm not saying that's the only thing, but this wheat stubble, you know, wheat stubble's good for pheasants and so far that's holding true. Hey here. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a huge rooster. That's a gorgeous one. How big is the spurs? That's probably two. Decent, yeah. Two, three. Yeah. Well, look at those tails, man. That's a good bird. That's a nice rooster. Nice shooting. Catch him up. Well, I just had a, I just had a rooster come. Oh, well, he's probably right there, right? Catch him up. Five feet. Up. And it took me a second to see if he was a rooster. Devin was on the trigger though. He got him. So Devin's got Catch two in typical game hog fashion. It's a good old rooster. Look at them. Another, another nice one. Game hog strikes again. Gotta be fast on that trigger, man. I guess. I like to let them cup up into me. Yeah, I can't believe how short this stuff is and yet there's pheasants in it. I'm sure with a little bit of snow it'd be even better. It's like a great spot for a rooster. What? That was my opportunity. I didn't even pull the trigger. <sighs> I haven't got a limit and I haven't got anything yet. We still got a little bit of time. But... Game hog. <laughs> you got your limit. Uh, that's hilarious. All right, well. well, get out there. There might be one more in here. <sighs> what a day. So we got up super early couple hours before shooting light to get to our spot that we thought was gonna be awesome duck hunting and both plan A and plan B didn't pan out too much water and it was frozen in areas so we couldn't wait across to where we wanted to go so that didn't pan out we had to we did a plan C went and hunted some pits and got a pair of mallards pretty good day in my book you know every time you don't get skunked it's a good day and then we went and chased roosters for the last couple hours and it's pretty much just me watching Devin shoot. He got he got his three roosters right here. I got this nice drake and he also shot a hen. So, you know, I got the real prize. I got a nice green head, which is better than any old rooster. I'm just kidding, but no, it, it was a fun day and uh, We'll see what tomorrow brings. It's gonna be another warm one. Today was really warm and the wind didn't come up until we started pheasant hunting. And I'm sure if we would have stuck out duck hunting a little longer, we probably would have got a few more ducks to actually decoy. They just didn't have any wind this morning. That's what really killed us. But you know, it's 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 slow vember, well, not vember, it's slow simber now. And there's a lot of birds around. They're just stale. There's, there's no weather. There's a cold front moving through here in a couple days. So hopefully that'll get some more new ones down and maybe make these ones a little easier to talk in but we'll see but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave me a thumbs up always helps me out drop a comment let me know what your thoughts were subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting videos and be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations delta waterfowl pheasants forever ducks unlimited it doesn't matter they do a ton of good work for the wildlife for us the hunters the general public everyone so be sure to go out there and support them go to a banquet meet some new friends maybe win a gun win some cool stuff you know volunteer take some kids out hunting there's a lot of stuff that you can do as an individual to help keep this passion of ours alive and help the wildlife too and we'll catch you out there guys see ya